Next, we have two ordinances brought by citizens. First, initiated ordinance 308, Furban. It asks if the voters of the city and county of Denver should adopt an ordinance concerning a prohibition of fur products and, beginning July 1, 2025, prohibit the manufacture, distribution, display, sale, or trade of certain animal fur products in the city, providing limited exemptions to the prohibition. Additional information and more pros and cons for the fur ban can be found in Denver's ballot information booklet. Here are the pros and cons for Initiated Ordinance 308. Those in favor of Initiated Ordinance 308 say, The measure is an important step towards ending the cruel, unnecessary, and outdated practice of killing animals solely to wear their fur. On fur factory farms, wild animals like foxes, mink, and rabbits spend their entire lives in tiny wire cages barely larger than their bodies. Fur trapping is no better. Wolves, foxes, coyotes, and raccoons struggle in painful traps for days before being bludgeoned, starving, or freezing to death. In terms of animal welfare, Denver is lagging behind. 25 countries around the world have already passed fur bans. Fur's environmental impact is equally alarming. Intensive fur farms generate significant water and air pollution and have an incredibly high environmental footprint due to the significant demands for land, water, feed, and energy needed to sustain thousands of captive animals. Fortunately, we can now produce better, warmer clothing with materials that are more sustainable and cruelty-free. Those opposed to Initiated Ordinance 308 say the Denver Fur Ban would prohibit the manufacture, distribution, display, and sale or trade of any animal fur products within the city and county of Denver. While the proponents paint it as an animal rights measure, its implications extend far beyond and into the very heart of our community, our traditions, and our economy. The Denver Fur Ban is not just about fur coats or luxurious fashion items. This measure will harm a wide array of local businesses and industries that have deep roots in our community. The ban would impact the Denver March Powwow and Indian Market in Southwest Arts Fest, where Native Americans come to celebrate their culture and traditions. The proposal poses a direct threat to the cultural practices and economic opportunities of Indigenous and Native American communities. It would also cast a long shadow on the future of the National Western Stock Show, prohibiting many vendors from attending the show and selling their goods. Their products are not mere commodities, they are cultural artifacts, symbols of our Western heritage.